Surely the streaming war between YouTube and Twitch, it's been um, an intense rivalry, especially throughout 2020. And of course, the Mixer deals, it was very, very fun to cover. But certainly a few of those streamers who have made the move to YouTube, which by the way, for big events, still pulls gigantic numbers. When it comes time for the everyday streamer out there, we have seen quite a few complaints around the platform, particularly around its streaming and some issues that people like Doc or Courage and now Ray have spoken out against. It's going to be very curious to see as these YouTube contracts do come to a close who resigns and who if they have the option a guy like doc obviously currently not having that would maybe go back to twitch it's actually something ray has spoken about a couple of times now one of which was with courage about the issues with youtube streaming thank you mrs youtube needs a hype chain youtube needs a lot of things i'm kind of surprised that a lot of changes haven't happened yet it's it's taking a very long time like i just don't really know what like i've been i've been streaming on youtube for like a year and two months now and the only thing that's changed is they've added clipping but i didn't realize until after clipping was out i was so hyped for it there's no place to find the clips i can't even watch your guys's clips it just makes it so that there's a link and if you post the the link of the clip you could post the clip on like twitter or something and then it counts as views towards the VOD, which is cool. But there is no directory for the clips. I, I don't know. I, like, I, I want to... I don't know. I'd like to... I, can't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they're working on gifted members, but... Man, I'm just starting to think, like, is this stuff even going to happen Match before found. my contract's Ooh. over? When is it going to happen? What? Oh, Finally geez. split. No Put me in your backpack. It's been a thousand years. <laughs> Woo! Put right, me in your go. backpack. This Are you ready sure, to be carried, Wendy? Carry me. Adriana, thanks for the dono. Hydration check. Oh, I've been drinking some water. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll drink more just for you. Cheers. Well, I feel like when your contract's over, will you go over to Twitch? Day. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. I have no <laughs> idea. I went away for a while. I like back. streaming that, on YouTube. Yeah. Like, I, I like oh that everything's gosh. in one place. Like five hours of I like that my earlier. VODs are here. I like Ooh. that I've built such a <clears throat> massive community on that. here. Let's go. <laughs> like, I, I like that we had a good you flow of things. You guys are great to play with. I like the pre streams it's all about a lot. Fun. The yeah. pre stream vibes are always so nice. Do you uh, really mean it? Remember the plan. Yes, I really do. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I think you guys are pog champ. I don't. I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. We're all Jack Wolf pog champ. Um, I didn't say that. Oh. <laughs> Break it to you. And as you hear her say, you know, they got clips, but even those have issues, no gifted membership. Uh, they've definitely talked about a lot of streamers about the community, the lack thereof, and maybe a kind of a, the same chat interaction community that Twitch does give you alongside some other things and having an overall directory uh, of where you do go when you don't want to watch Ray or Doc or Courage or, you know, all the Minecraft boys. Where can you go to check out all the other live streamers in the same community style fashion that Twitch does have? as Twitch is dedicated to streaming and YouTube is more so a video platform. Now, again, it's actually Ray and Courage talking about this on a separate podcast as well. If you guys want to go check out Trainwrecks, it's always an entertaining show. Well, last time they had Courage and Ray on together, they both had some criticisms of YouTube's platform. And like... Oh. Sooner than that, I think it's gonna that's gonna be the companies. You guys are gonna be the companies. It's I wanna really cool. I wanna ask Courage and Ray, uh what like differences do you notice between like Twitch chat versus like a YouTube chat? Like like the, oh, mm. the culture. We have no emote culture, we have no hosting, we hardly have a directory on YouTube. Do you see I a don't future? even know who streams on YouTube. Because <laughs> I can't see, find people. Do you see a future for what? that though? Like, do you see a future for possible? Yeah, they're like, working culture? they're working on everything, but oh, okay, it's good. just so far behind, like culture wise. <laughs> Like I you can use my emotes only in my chat, and there's no no BTTV. There's oh, really yeah. So it's that. like that's like something I really miss about Twitch is like the just 
the emo chat culture. Why can't they like, chat, chat funny as fuck. Why can't yeah, they, chat uh, is so yeah. funny. Why chat carries the streamer. I really believe yes. that. It does. It does. Yeah. Completely. It does. Completely. Especially, especially for train wrecks. Yeah. Oh, 100. No, no joke. Actually, yes. <laughs> any like, truers. Any truers. No, listen. True. That might be a joke, but that's actually <laughs> facts. Like, without my chat, I would be doing what I do when I'm off. I feel like chat entertains themselves. Dude, like, a lot of having, people talk mm -hmm. in chat. And, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And being it's able nice. to have an emote like truing on BTTV that's just used everywhere. It's yeah. like, true. Yeah. That is used everywhere. Fucking, yeah. That's so OP. It is. Yeah. It's literally busted. <laughs> you know what's crazy? Yeah, I definitely. I miss. I miss um, the moderation tools. Switch has better moderation yeah. tools. Oh. Better. It's um, just in the fetus stages. And and the thing is, is being a YouTube streamer, it's like a bunch of islands. Um, yeah. It's like mm. Ray's on her own island. I'm on my own island. On Twitch, like during Among Us, let's say, let's say Ray and I were both on Twitch, or you guys probably experienced this with Among Us. Big streamer signs off Among Us. People flood down the directory. It's how yeah. I built my career yeah. in Fortnite. Yeah. Big, you know, Ray ends her stream on YouTube, and let's say I'm also streaming Among Us. There's even though people know Ray and I, there's no like flood of everyone else down the directory oh, because there's yeah. really no directory. So, mm -hmm. um, Jeez. it's an interesting difference. But yeah, there's definitely a lack of a, a community emote side of things, and I think that that's where YouTube and I had this discussion with them a couple yeah, weeks I ago. Tell them I think everything. that that's where their next. <laughs> After gifted members as well is that's where their next big thing is. Why can't they incorporate yeah. BTTV or uh, uh, anything else? Uh, I think they do have an extension. People just don't use it. Oh. And if we want to focus on Ray, this is actually something she mentioned months back as well. Not knowing what she's going to do once her contract is up. Will she keep streaming? Will she stick with YouTube? In that first clip I played for all of you, you know, will she go back to Twitch? Hadn't really crossed my mind until now as she complains towards the end of her contract that if any of these changes are even going to be made by the time she is done with her current one and has to choose to sign for a new one. It definitely does beg the question of what's going on for YouTube side of thing, of which we have seen them make progress progress right the clips can can use some adjustments but also uh, viewership rewards and drops for separate games is slowly advancing call of duty league being the most recent one and the recent addition to that they are certainly moving in the right direction but is it too slow for some of these streamers like ray who have to make these big choices sometime this year or sometime in the near future it's definitely very interesting so the question to all of you guys would Ray go back to Twitch for the right amount of money? Would she re-sign with YouTube? And what is her future when it comes time for full-time streaming as she's hinted it to the fact that it's not gonna be near as full-time as she currently does? What do you guys think Twitch versus YouTube still continues? Hey, Facebook is still alive, by the way. In case you guys were curious about that, drink some wah, drink some ka. I'll catch you guys back here next time.